Hello, this is Miss Mary from the West Dallas Public Library bringing you another edition of What Caught My Eye in New Books. Okay, we're going to get started and we're going to go in alphabetical order by author's last name. So first off, of course, we're not going to, the way this is shown on the book is by title and it's ancestor approved and it's t shown by title because it's poems and short stories by different authors that are linked together by a powwow. So it's ancestor approved, it's intertribal stories for kids, and each story is about a different family and they all end up going to the same powwow. It's really a very good book if you like books about um, native families from nations across, across North America. So, um, let's see. And it's for fans of short, realistic fiction. And for the most part, it's our own voices and the stories. And this would be a good choice for kids that like short stories. And which is kind of nice because it breaks up your reading a little bit. And the, it's edited by Cynthia Latish Smith, who is a big name in um, children's authorship. All right. Second is another big name in children's authorship, Catherine Applegate. This is Doggo and Pupper, and it's uh, an intermediate chapter book. Doggo likes his life just the way it is, and then his family introduces Pupper, and he has to adjust to that. And it's a very funny story because, if you can look at some of the pictures, it says here, watch out Doggo, said Cat one day. I think the humans have an idea. She licked a paw. Remember the last time they had an idea? Doggo remembered. It was not pretty. Anyways, so this is by Catherine Applegate. It's a great choice for dog lovers. And Catherine Applegate, everything she writes is good. But the book that stands out in my mind the most is the one and only Ivan. So, which is a great book. All right. Our next up is another... Um, book about, it's called A Peacemaker for Warring Nations, The Founding of the Iroquois Le League, written by Joseph Bruchak and illustrated by David Fadden. Anyways, this is a picture book biography for older readers. Uh, the illustrations are beautiful, but there are a lot of text and still would work as a read aloud if you broke it up and in a school or a family setting. It'd be a really great book for Thanksgiving or for November, which is Native American month, but a good book at any time. And this tells the tradition of the peacemaker. He was sent by the creator to end the warring between five, the five Iroquois nations. Um, he started a system of government that still exists today. Uh, many people believe that part of the US Constitution is based on the Iroquois League and Benjamin Franklin had been known to go to many of their meetings. So it's a great book, I recommend it highly. But as you can see, the text is great. Look at, they're bearing their war weapon. But um, the pictures are great, but see, there is a lot of text. All right. My next book, oh, I love this book. It's a gorgeous uh, counting picture book, Blue Ridge Babies, one, two, three by Loris Berry Gardner and illustrated by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman. It's uh, just gorgeous. It's a rhyming text based on the melody of Over in the Meadow. And the animals are clearly separate, so you can count them easily. But it also has a uh, text with, the, with the, rhyme, the rhyming text, so it's also would be good for older ages, besides just those kids learning to count. It's just gorgeous, and if you look, here's the mom, and then each, each animal is individual, very easy to count, with the numeral next to them. So I really like this. This would also be a great bedtime picture book. Okay. Our next book is, oh, another picture book biography that really caught my eye. It's Walking Toward Peace, the true story of a brave woman called Peace Pilgrim by Kathleen Krull and illustrated by Annie Bowler. Um, the Peace Pilgrim gave up everything she had in order to walk for peace, 
her name, all her possessions, everything that she owned. And she worked, walked over 25,000 miles, um, inviting people to walk with her and to walk towards peace. Uh, let's see. This would be a great read aloud for families and for Women's History Month, uh, nonviolent uh, theme, and also has further information in the back of the book about this wonderful person that's not very well known. Uh, and let's give you, this is the front. And here she is. This is when she first started out on New Year's Day at the Rose Bowl Parade. Okay. So we'll put that over here. And oh, oh, this is a wonderful little book that I really loved, A Garden to Save the Birds. And um, went by Wendy McClure and illustrated by Beatrice Miami. And what happens when a bird flies into your window at home? And besides being very startled, uh, how can you prevent birds from flying into your windows? And what can you do at your backyard to help birds um, in this country. Okay, so it's a fun read aloud for school or families. It has great information throughout the story about what you can do for birds. I really enjoyed it. It's also a great sibling story, of course, and a great family story. And here's a picture, oh, and you know, you can even leave out your rotting jack-o'-lantern pumpkins for the birds. I would never do that, but you could. So this is another great choice. Okay. Oh, this one. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so this is The Elephant in the Room by Holly Goldberg Sloan. This is an upper elementary book. Um, so there's no pictures, just text. And Elephant in the Room is a saying where you ignore what's happening around you because you don't want to talk about it. It's too upsetting for whatever reason, and you just don't want to deal with it. And in this book, the main character, Sila, is an 11-year-old girl who was born in this country, um, but she is missing her mother because her mother is an immigrant and had to go back to Turkey because there was immigration problems, and her immigration status changed. So she is with her dad in their apartment and they just never talk about how much they miss their mother. Um, so they just have both kind of shut down. And what about this elephant though? Well, in this book, an uh, older gentleman wins the lottery and he spends his money on buying an elephant through a series of mishaps. And he ends up meeting Scylla and her father because her father came to fix to work on this old truck he had. So, and his name is Gio. Uh, this book has a lot of themes going on. The author really does a good job of keeping everything together. Um, this would be great for fans of Front Desk by Kelly Yang, or um, Other Words for Home by Jasmine Wargo, or Amina's Voice by Hina Khan. But it's uh, about missing a parent, immigration status, animal abuse, lottery winners, <laughs> all sorts of things are going on. But I really recommend it. It's a really great book. And I recommend everything by this author, Holly Goldberg Sloan. Okay, and our last book is um, The Middle Kid. How many people, Middle Kid? Right here, Middle Kid. And it's by Steven Weinberg. And it's a funny uh, intermediate chapter book. So. You, as a middle kid, you get picked on by your older sibling, and then you also get blamed for stuff you didn't do from your younger sibling. Uh, so you're just kind of stuck in the middle. And is there anything good about being a middle child? You betcha. Anyways, I love a sibling story. This is a great sibling story. Uh, it would be fun read aloud for families, and you know, of course, in sections. Uh, for school, it would be an okay read aloud, but a lot of the humor, hum, humor in this book is visual, uh, so and it's kind of a smaller size, so I don't know how that would work. Um, this would be great for kids who like the Clementine series, the Judy Moody's Brother Stink series, um, 
maybe even Junie B. Jones series. It's a very funny, fun book. But anyways, here it is. So, what's going on? Okay, so his big brother is across the street with his friend. My little sister is taking a nap. My dad is reading. I am drawing. How about you and me walk to the library, said mom. Yes, I love getting books from the library. So is it always so bad being a middle child? Nope, I don't think so. All right, so there will be a list of the books that we uh, that I discussed in the comments section below and I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me uh, stay safe wash your hands and uh, see you soon bye for now